down here, ran the, uh, in 19, uh, excuse me, in 2003, ran the Carrera Panamericana in the Morris Fighter. Um, it, uh, it didn't make it all the way. It had, a, uh, it had some distance left, so, uh, so the decision was to leave it uh, or to park it um, and not, uh, unfortunately, not finish the race. It's, uh, it's never really been cleaned up since then externally, but, but it's been machined. And uh, we're actually ready to put it back together, and the car is, uh, the car that it truly belongs in is, uh, is being painted uh, as we speak. And uh, this has something kind of unusual. It has a, a double pulley um, uh, balancer, and there's a reason for that. And the reason for that double, double uh, pulley is because this one's going to get the Judson supercharger. If I remember correct, this cover is going to have to come off too, to, and, and the, this will have to go elsewhere. But uh, Judson was built for uh, 948 and 1098cc uh, Spridget engines, um, and the owner found one and had it uh, had the pulley resized so it'll fit and work well with the uh, 1275. And it's a it's a 61 Mark One midget that it's that it's going to go back into. So cool. And so um, uh, over here we've got a uh, and and it. Blah blah blah, uh, an MGA. Yes. Um, and it's, it's. Uh, I think it's a great color that they. This is this is owned by uh, uh, a fellow down in Minneapolis who's, who's had a number of conversions. I'll uh, for for the sake of this video, I'll, I'll leave names out of it. But uh, <laughs> a lot of people will know who and and if we'll we'll be able to figure it out pretty quick. But it's a it's a pretty nice car. It's it's been built to cruise. Uh, it was originally built um, by another company back in the late 70s as a, um, <clears throat> as a Ford 2.8 V6 conversion with automatic. And they did a lot of work, but somewhere along the line, something happened and the project was, uh, was shelved. And it was shelved until, I believe, the early, or, excuse me, late 90s when the current owner purchased it off eBay, took it out of uh, the East Coast, brought it to our, uh, brought it to our old shop, and we found another 2.8, and uh, and put it together. It's uh, it's not a Chevrolet V6, so I don't care for it as much. Okay. <laughs> don't tell the, whatever you do, don't tell the owner. You can delete that part. Sure. <laughs> um, but it's it's really quite a quite a neat uh, quite a neat car. A nice conversion. Um, the, unfortunately, the best of this conversion has been done on the underside of the car, <laughs> which you'll you'll never see. Uh, but it does have, I can't remember, I believe a GM rear axle um, in the back. It's now got a three, about a 3.0 rear end in it. And with the automatic, it, it just, it's a really nice car to cruise around town in. And uh, it's, it's something that people, people will definitely uh, stop to take a look. It's not been cleaned, so pardon the, uh, pardon the mess that, uh, that I've left it in. And if I can remember where to put the stuff, <laughs> but so <clears throat> there's your 2.8 Ford with your Offy uh, four barrel manifold, air conditioning that functions, um, and he's also built this car for driving. So the uh, the um, heat insulation up there may not be the absolute best in appearance, but it absolutely does the job. It keeps the hot side hot and the cold side where it should be. <laughs> So it's a, it's a, it's another very fun car. Yeah. But uh, I think that's the, the point of these cars is if they're not fun and if uh, if you uh, if you uh, if you can't have fun with it and if you can't um, in, enjoy it, if you like original cars <laughs> and you only park them in your living room, that's fine. If you enjoy original cars uh, for driving because you want that original feeling, that's a great thing to do. But if you enjoy original cars but have no place to store them and no reason to drive them because they're archaic, then then in that case you, you need to possibly do some reconsidering of what you're doing. I, I don't I don't say that everyone should have a conversion. Matter of fact I have a lot of cars that are original. Unfortunately my shop does not represent <laughs> what I own. Uh, if you saw what I own you'd say I'm I'm uh, Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. Because I, I have both. Um, and real quick here, we're running out of storage space, but um, um, we'll just kind of, over here you've got this uh, uh, this uh, 3.4 liter V6. Yep, that, it's, uh, it's our test bed. 
everything that uh, everything that we've ever done for the Ironhead uh, V6 conversions has been on that engine. Right now, there's a there's a test sample that I'll I'll, I'll put a, a black screen in front of so you can't see. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, we're we're uh, looking at larger bore throttle bodies, which uh, which we've never really had for these engines, uh, and a few other things that uh, that we're looking at building. But if you uh, if you come into our shop, we we actually just put it on this low stand, so it's a little hard to see, but. Uh, uh, but this is always the engine that if someone asks about our, our conversions, we bring them over to this engine first and then show them uh, show them other conversions that have been done either through either through, through pictures or or real life examples as the <laughs> car over here would show. So cool. So we're almost out of time, so I'll say goodbye real quick. But uh, um, as always, um, uh, any feedback you have for me or any questions or whatever. Um, just uh, send them to martysgarage at gmail.com. Um, shows available on iTunes and Zoom Marketplace. But I uh, just want to thank Brian for, for everything he's shown us today. And um, uh, take care. Thank you. OK, uh, one more thing before I let you guys go. Um, first of all, I just want to say thanks to Brian for letting me come out and check out all his projects and stuff. Uh, it's really cool. <laughs> um, and uh, it was nice meeting Brian. He's a, he's a real nice guy and he's uh, extremely knowledgeable. So uh, it's nice to have an asset like him uh, just right in my own backyard. So um, I don't know, just to let you guys know uh, uh, some of the things uh, uh, BMC Automobile uh, works on is uh, they, uh, they specialize in, uh, in restoration of uh, British automobiles. And uh, they do. Uh, they they offer some like turnkey uh, V6 conversions, and uh, they have. Uh, they've even got their own little uh, uh, parts store that uh, could, if you're in the middle of doing a conversion, uh, got some parts that might make your uh, life a little bit easier. But you can uh, check all that out um, uh, at www.bmcautos.com. So I don't know. It's kind of amazing. Uh, all this all the places this car's taken me already and it doesn't even have wheels on it yet so <laughs> um but uh, yeah so especially if you live here in minnesota you might not even realize it but you've got a an mg guru right in your backyard so uh, i just thought i'd throw that out there before i let you go so uh, thanks again